Hello, my fellow vampire blockers. You got your guy Larry here. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Feel free to comment below. I will try to answer every comment that I can. Um, this video is for people who do not understand the difference between dividend investing and active portfolio investing. Um, <clears throat> big difference. Dividend investing is when you're buying long-term stocks. You're buying dinosaurs, stocks that have been around forever, that have paid a constant dividend, have increased their dividends over time, during market fluctuations, during the dot-com crash, during the uh, housing market crash, during the Great Depression even, or all through the 60s and 70s. These are your, di these are your dividend aristocrats, your Kimberly Clarks, your EMR, uh, uh, got Cardinal Healthcare, Coca Cola, um, you know, AbbVie, Johnson and Johnson. These are your dinosaur companies that have been around a long time, a long time. Um, active portfolio investing is when you're buying the new hottest stock and you're trying to beat the S and P five hundred. Like you're buying Tesla, and then you sell Tesla. And then you buy Neo and you sell Neo and, and you're buying, you know, the you know, all this new state of the art technology stocks or these new energy stocks, you're jumping in and out of the market and you're putting this in your portfolio. These are your fund managers that they say 95% of them can't beat the S P five hundred because they're constantly buying and selling stocks in and out the portfolio. Okay. I'm going to try to break down the difference because a lot of people really don't understand the difference. They think active investing is when you buying your own stocks and you're no, when you're dividend investing, you have a you have a plan, you have a purpose. You make sure you do your research on this. Now, when you're in the 10% to 15% tax bracket and you're dividend investing, you are exempt from paying taxes on your qualified dividends. I believe it's $40,000. If you make less than $40,000 a year, you don't pay any taxes on your dividends. Okay? You don't make, like, you don't have to pay taxes. Search it for yourself. That's the tax law for 2021. If you make below $40,000, you don't have to pay any taxes on your qualified dividends. Now, if you fall into the 25%, 28%, 33%, 35%, the most they can tax you on your dividends is 15%. That's the most that they can tax you. And I believe if you make over $450,000, they can tax you up to 20%. Now, you have to hold these stocks. You have to hold these stocks and your dividends for longer than a year. That's the long-term capital gains you will only pay 15%. If you're selling your stock after five months and you get dividends, you're going to get taxed at the regular income rate that you fall in, either the 25%, the 28%, the 33%, or the 35%, or whatever tax bracket you fall into. You got to make sure you're buying qualified stocks that have qualified dividends. Now, my argument with this is a lot of people don't understand this, that they just say, well, you're paying taxes on your dividends. Here's what you got to look at. If you have, to say you're making, that you're in the so 28 percentile, and you have enough stocks where you're making $30,000 a year, you're getting taxed at 15%. Are you doing anything for those stocks? Are you on the board? Do you have to show up to Coca-Cola? Do you have to put the syrup in the Coca-Cola? Do you have to deliver the Coca-Cola? No, it's a passive investment to go along with your other investments that you have. Now, I suggest you don't do this until you have the groundwork of a, I say 80% of an S&P 500. That way you can't go wrong when you're dividend investing. Have the bulk of your money in an S&P 500 if you really don't understand stocks. But if you wanna get into dividend stocks, it's not bad to do it. So many people are stuck in their ways where they think their way is the way to go just because they don't want to take the time to understand other things. You got people that make great livings on dividend investing. They're sitting at home or they're somewhere abroad 
getting paid passive income, like having a job and they're not working anymore to supplement their pension, their 401k, or their, um, um, you know, like up or like their um, other investments. And then people are going to say, yeah, but when you get paid a dividend, the, uh, the stock price goes down. It doesn't make a difference. You're never selling your principal stock. You're never selling your stock. You're getting paid to hold your 100 shares of Coca-Cola. You're not selling your 100 shares of Coca-Cola. You're holding on to your stocks. You're never selling them. You're just holding on to them, letting them snowball and letting them snowball and letting them snowball. Now, when it comes to dividend investing, in my opinion and a lot of people's opinions, if you search videos yourself, it's a good way to have a passive income to go along with other things. When the markets crash, dividend investing actually snows, it snowbounds even quicker. It snowballs even quicker. Dividend investors love market crashes. We love volatile markets because it really doesn't make a difference to us because when your dividends come in, they're buying dividends. No, excuse me. That they're buying stocks at a lower price or they're buying them at a higher price, but you're holding on to them. You're really not, you don't care. You're, you're really not looking at the stock market. You live a peaceful life. You're just doing what you got to do. Now, active investing, this is more volatile. When you active invest, every time they make a profit on those stocks that they sold, you have to pay taxes on that capital gains. That's called your turnover rate. When you look at a lot of funds, if they have a high turnover rate, you don't want to keep them in a brokerage account. You want to keep them in a tax deferred or a tax sheltered account because you're not paying taxes on them on, on a tax deferred. You're not paying it right away. You're going to pay it uh, the, down the line. If you keep it in a Roth IRA, you're not going to pay taxes on it. So when you're active investing and these, you know, and these fund managers, they're trying to beat the market. They're, tr you know, they're trying to you know, constantly beat the S&P 500. When you're dividend investing, your dividend portfolio may actually in time with dividends reinvested outperform the S&P 500. You're not worried about beating the S&P 500. You're worried about the passive income. That's what you want. You want a part-time job for doing nothing. Now, you tell me what's better. Going to work every day, giving your life, commuting to a job, Paying tolls, gas, getting dirty, getting rained on to go do a job and get taxed at the highest percentage because the working person pays the highest percentage of taxes. Warren Buffett even said it. He said, my secretary pays more taxes than I do. What would you rather do? Go to work every day and pay crazy taxes or would you rather invest in a dividend portfolio and get paid money when you're sleeping. Somebody else has to figure things out. Your Coke driver has to go deliver that uh, Coca-Cola. Um, you know, all these big companies that have been around since a lot of us were born, they're not going anywhere. Your companies that make sanitary napkins for women or Clorox or Colgate, or Procter & Gamble, Johnson & Johnson, over time, they're going to go up and down, but in the long term... They've been increasing dividends for 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years over depressions and market fluctuations and presidents to changes and crashes and all this stuff. So do what's best for you. Do your own research. Like, subscribe. If you want to hear some more about this, the, you know, the, the whole difference between these two things, active investing, you're trying to beat the S&P 500, dividend investing. You don't care. You're buying big stocks. You're never selling them. Big companies, big moats around them that no one's going to take over. You know, they're, they're not going to take over their clientele. They've been around a long time. You're, you're not, you don't care about if it beats the S&P 500. You want to know if, if it made your dividend. If your dividend came in on time, that's passive income. Okay. And then what starts to happen is you let it snowball for 10, 15, 20 years. And then when you're looking to retire, you know what you do? You click the drip off, the dividend investing drip. You click it off, and now it goes into your fund. And a lot of your brokerage accounts, they give you checking accounts where you could transfer the money right over, go right to the ATM, and all that money that Coca-Cola has paid you, 
You can take it right out of the ATM and you can use it. A lot of people don't understand it because they don't want to take the time to understand it. Okay? So don't be ignorant. Learn different things. It's called the different ways to make income. Sometimes you really got to do what's best for you and let other people do what's best for them. Like, subscribe. Remember, no regrets. Have a good day, guys.